How to plot points or create scatter plots on the TI Inspire calculator. In this video, we'll look at how to plot points using the TI Inspire graphing calculator by Texas Instruments. This is my first of what I hope will eventually be many videos demonstrating the function and utility of the TI Inspire calculator. In learning about the TI Inspire, I'm getting a lot of help from my friend Clarence, pictured here, and many others. My school district has provided a lot of training, including webinars led by Oswaldo, pictured here, and his sidekick, Stege. When you press the On key of the NTI Inspire, the first thing you may see is the home screen pictured here with its icons. The icon highlighted now is the calculator icon. Now to create a new document, we have a couple ways we can go, but let's arrow three times to the right so the spreadsheet icon is highlighted. Press Enter. This is what we see, a spreadsheet application. Now we'll enter some data we want to plot in our spreadsheet. Arrow up twice to the top of the column where it says A so that cell is outlined in bold. I've typed in the word side for side length of a square. Arrow down twice so that cell A1 is highlighted. Then we enter the numbers we want and here I've entered 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 as side lengths. In this last cell, A5, I just need to press Enter so it will advance to the next cell below. Then we arrow to the right and up to the top of column B and type in Area. Now if we just go down to the cell below, we can enter a formula here just like we would in an Excel spreadsheet. But we'll leave that to another lesson and go down and enter all the respective areas of squares corresponding to side lengths. And here we see them all entered. Now we're going to plot our points by pressing the home key first and this is the screen we see. Then we arrow four icons to the right to the bar graph icon. Press enter and this is what we see. The points all arranged seemingly in no particular order. We could have chosen the graph icon instead to place the points in a coordinate plane, but we'll do this this way in this lesson. Now what we do is use our nav pad to move our cursor and here is the arrow cursor moving and here at the bottom it says to click or enter to add variable and now you see your choices here on the independent variable axis area and side and here side is now highlighted press enter I hope you can see all the points lined up on the horizontal axis now go to the vertical label area by pressing the tab key at the upper left. You can see area already highlighted. Press enter. We see all the points lined out as they should be. From here we can press menu to see what's available from there. And here are the options available from this menu. Plot type, plot properties, actions, analyze, and window slash zoom. My plan is that in future videos we'll explore fully the options available from this menu. This has been how to plot points or create scatter plots on the TI Inspire calculator. Thanks for viewing.